top right of our map, the Mecking Terran himself. He is. Yeah. CJ into Spio. Go. <laughs> and down the bottom left yeah. and red. Samsung Galaxy Cam Roro. Samsung. A very scary team going into the next season of Pro League. Yeah, certainly it is. Uh, you know, really all the uh, original Kespa teams are starting to look downright deadly. CJ's been doing fantastically. Samsung as well. Of course, Jin Air rose up a bit back. Some yeah. great pickups with them. Jin Air like totally SS. got the best trades going into uh, the last season. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go into this like free trade period coming up in uh, like around October-ish, I believe. And there's a lot of like free agents out there. Yeah. Uh, especially with so many players leaving IM. And you know what's really scary, too, man, is during this free trade period, there's so many players that, like, for example, let me just drop a name, like Seed, uh, who, yeah. you know, is like out there and you look at this player and you're like, okay, this player obviously had a lot of talent but never really could get into a team house that had the right yeah. structure for him. I feel like if he, if he, for example, a player just likes Seed, I mean, Seed's just one player, but there's some players floating out there. Look at what happened to Gumiho when he got picked up by CJ. He played some really impressive games and yeah. he's you now kind of found a new home. And I feel like there's these players floating out there that mm. are considering retirement maybe, but you know, they've got potential. The coaches are looking at him and, and, uh, we could see the rebirth of some of these older players now yeah. becoming Kespa players. Uh, and the thing is, you're not only looking for someone that's going to be necessarily a star or win a GSL, or even perhaps get you a bunch of Pro League wins. I have to say, going into the new free agent season, one of my top pickup in all of Korea right now, Young Hwa. Young Hwa. This is the guy that you want in your team house practicing with your Protoss. He's, so, he's such a solid standard macro guy. He's really strong, even though he doesn't do well in GSL Code S, some of the most valuable players in the past in StarCraft have been those that are great for practice. Players like, for instance, your your fellow Pro League commentator, Kanata. Yeah. Famous for always being thanked whenever anyone won a TVT Finals in the OSL. Yeah. Like, you need these good practice guys. But anyways, I yeah. digress. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, my biggest pickup right now, if I were uh, looking to pick somebody up, would be Symbol, actually. That's a great pickup right there, because right? he's actually a championship caliber player as well. Yep. You know, like, has kind of his own style, but he's someone that, I mean, he was the most solid GSL player for a very long time. Him and Parting were, like, the two that were just always at the top of Code S. Yeah. By the way, he's picked off one Overlord, and now he's poised to get a That's second pretty one. pretty crazy. Two Overlords this early? Like, this oh, is amazing, man. actually, for uh, Pyong. And Roro has like, got to be, like... Well, my entire early game is ruined. Yeah. It is. It's ruined. Imagine. That's two larvae and 200 minerals and, and like, delayed drones. and No scouting ever happening, ever. Now, how is he going to scout? He's not. He can go two port Banshee. He could go two port Banshee, Artosis. I was actually thinking about that last game. I'm like, no, he's not going to do anything like that with that star That right? build hasn't existed forever. <laughs> look at this time supply block. I never look at that, but now look at it. Yep. That's that's like an Artosis game with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's that's really rough for Roro to lose two overlords so early on. And the Marines are actually still out there. In fact, if those overlords that are moving across now move too far forward, many might even get another one. You know, it looks like we're going for a very similar. Is build he actually here. gonna get this? Are you joking me? Those eight links are not out yet, Artosis. Is this reality? No, no. that's Pyong actually. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming as soon as I said that. <laughs> What's uh, the cure for this? <laughs> I don't know, but he might be falling into a trap here with this overlord. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> I am happy to tell you, you these jokes be. are just... <laughs> You're very innovative with them. <laughs> well, two Marines even escape, and uh, well, I gotta for say, now. man, uh, this is a very rough start for Roro going into this one. I mean, it's, it's recoverable, sure. But, uh, yeah, but you lose three overlords. Look at the supply. Hellbats, <laughs> Hellbats are coming seconds. out, actually. Going to be uh, up here in a second. Did you see that? It was at 101 seconds supply capped. Uh, wow. We never look at this tab. We never look at this number. But when you think about that, is that not one in two-thirds minutes? Like, that's like that's like that's nearing like it one. on two minutes of not being able to make drones. Yeah. What? That's like that's like a fourth of this game. It's like almost actually it's more than a fourth of this game. Like right now, basically. it's crazy. It's 
what a terrible situation. In fact, he's making a roach run right now. Now, I don't know if that's for aggression, though. I don't think so, because I think he's like, be, I, need, yeah. I need an answer for Hellbats right now that are coming to my third base. Yeah. He doesn't know that for sure, but because he doesn't know, he knows he doesn't know. So he needs to get a roach run out yeah. ASAP, because there's, especially because he doesn't know the chance seems to be higher that there's going to be a Hellbat attack. Well, here we go. It's going to have the Metavax there as well. This is really rough. Yeah, the Roach, Roach Warren's not, not ready. Dead, not ready yet. And oh, man. All right. The Queens are here, but the Queens aren't enough either. And actually, the Roach Warren is exposed even. I don't think he'll target it because there's just not enough yeah. time. But there's no point. Just kill everything else. Yeah, just kill everything else. Oh, you know, this is sad because, Wolf, you were telling me this game wasn't going to be like the first series. Yeah. You were saying this wasn't going to be like a live versus trap. That's what I thought it was going to be like, man. You lied to me, Wolf. I this... thought it was going to be a really good series. It turns out it's not, unfortunately. Turns out it's extremely one-sided. Well, it's just the Overlord pickoff yeah. screwed everything up. It did. Roro does have to be kicking himself. Like, this is... This isn't how this was supposed to go. Roro is not... Like, Pyong is not this much better than Roro, if he's better than Roro at all. Yeah, well, uh, he is actually going to survive here, uh, frankly. And uh, he still has a better worker count and three bases. So maybe this isn't over after all. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he does have the three hatches. Maybe I, maybe I was speaking too soon there. Yeah, he's got a lot of roaches now, but let's see what happens over here. And also, there's a Banshee follow-up with Cloak. I think it's probably still exactly what we were talking about before, but... Oh, look at this. Right back into Hellion's going to use those... Uh, and he's going to drop the other Hellbats on top of them, I think, if they try to oh, escape. Oh, man. Yeah, never mind, Wolf. We were completely right. <laughs> Eight kills on that one Hellbat alone that's still alive. So only 11 drone kills so far, but... His drone count was already so low because yeah. of the overlords and everything else. Totally. The roaches are pretty useless in an attack uh, form, and now there's... I mean, the Banshee's going to have Cloak in Yeah, he's second. having Cloak in just a second here, and oh man, the plus one is about to finish for all this as well. Yeah, including the Banshees, which then could do a little bit against the roaches. I love that he targets the queen right down. He's like, forget it, yeah, I'll just kill that. Look at this, targeting down drones as well. Yep, this is plus one Hellbats, man. Pretty sure the Creek commentators just said GG, but like, <laughs> it's not there yet, but it's it pretty uh, much is. We gotta be careful not to make the mistake we made. Uh, uh, I mean, this is obviously a lot of damage, and Pyong has a lot more at home as well. This is just factories yeah, are powering up right now. That's what, you know, I guess we're forgetting to, to point out is that he's like just constantly making stuff at home. He is, I mean, this is a ridiculously one-sided game. Look at Roro just struggle. He's a struggle nerd right now. Yeah, he's actually like Metapod out of hardened use, man. Like, he's all he can use yeah. is struggle, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, you never want to be like that, man. Uh, this is, this is the Roach Warren's going to go down, and then he can pretty much do whatever he wants yeah, after and that. The thing is, he can't even get aggressive because right now, Byung is like, He's like a Kakuna with with Flame Strike or something. Like just you yeah. know, he's you can't break him. He's got all sorts of weapons. Yeah, this is uh, is basically the enemy. He's gonna maybe lose his Banshee to carelessness, but oh, uh, you should have taken the one more shot. Oh. I don't know. I mean, at least that Queen can hit some injects. But uh, third base is up. He's got 46 army supply of mech. With Hellbats, when the, you can't make Roaches because your Roach Warren yeah. died, and uh, well, he's he's making a Bailey Nest and a Roach Warren. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Right now, <laughs> like Byung is like in midair in slow motion, uh, in the action of doing a slam dunk. Like this is actually what we're watching. He's like right Michael now. Jordan. He has a hang time of like two minutes. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> he's gonna die before he even can get these buildings up again. Nothing working out for Roro on this series, Well, No, certainly not. This is all the roaches he has left from earlier is all he's got to rely on, which is nine roaches. Medivac ceiling, Hellbats, Marines, I like. All of these have plus one, the Banshees and the Hellbats, that is to say. Yeah, there's no spore to stop these Banshees. The Banshees alone from here can kill it all. Yep. And, I mean, the spore crawler is not being targeted, but look at this, he's even having trouble dealing with the Marines. Yeah, like he will clean up the Marines and the spore will finish. It is 68 SCVs to 45 drones right now. There's like very few queens. <laughs> he dropped one marine in the main. It's a good drop. Well, this hatchery is actually being targeted now. Yeah, siege oh, tanks are here. 
And poor Roro, man, this has just not been the game everybody was hoping for. No, certainly not. This is actually so far, uh, I would say, pro I haven't got watched all the Kodai yet. I was watching a bunch of VODs yesterday as well as you and Nick Cast, but I would say so far this is the worst group of Kodai, right? Yeah. And you wouldn't think it looking it at it. It looks like, like one, of one of the best, best. groups, yeah. <laughs> but maybe it'll turn into that. Maybe. This is pretty nasty, man. I. Well, there's not much else to say here. We're going to watch him pick up the pieces. We're going to watch Roro not want to leave the game. When you lose a game, be not purely based off the Overlord losses, but that, that puts you so far behind, you feel like you're like playing StarCraft with only nine fingers, and it just doesn't feel fair. I don't use my right pinky. I could play with nine fingers if it was the right pinky. If it was the right pinky, man, but we're, he's like missing one of his index fingers, okay? Oh, yeah, no, no, you can't do that. That's hard. So, uh, I mean, he's like trying to score push his way out, but it's just not going to happen. <laughs> score push his way out. I don't even, yeah, this is, I don't know what to say here. This tank's about that plus two if it doesn't already. Oh, it already does. It's going to kite the tanks. Yeah, this is plus two on these Banshees. Yeah. I like just the constant rally of very random units. I feel like we're watching the campaign. Yeah, it's like a MOBA. Uh, where's the hero? It's only got minions. The hero is that Banshee with over 20 kills. Oh, okay. He's a cast as a It's like the Raider Clark. Banshee or something, yeah. It's like the Matt Horner Banshee or something. Like, yeah. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> it's the like names that. Of the characters. It's like that girl that was the doctor who, like, turned into a Zerg. Like, she learned how to fly a Banshee. Kerrigan? No, no, the uh, the doctor one from the first game. Anyways, oh, okay. GG. Like, she wasn't a doctor, well, she was a ghost. <laughs> wow. Wolf doesn't even know who Kerrigan is. Where's the passion for single player? Um, all right, that was, like, silly one-sided. Very much like that first series, unfortunately. Yeah. But you know what? Maybe Trap versus uh, Beyond will be good. Maybe he'll mech against Frost. Maybe people will get excited. Could be. I mean, even if he doesn't, Beyond is a great Protoss killer, seriously. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I feel like that's what he was really known for at the beginning of uh, the Pro League season, was yeah, killing a lot he of Protosses. and TY were just the only ones who were consistently beating Protoss back when Protoss was considered yeah. OP, Blank was OP, nobody knows what to do. They were the ones who were winning it. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see if the next match is any good after this quick